to bring uh, Bob Kolaski in on this. Now, Bob is the founding director for CISA's National Risk Management Center. He's currently uh, working for the company Exiger, and it's great to have you on the program, Bob, as you have a lot of experience with these critical infrastructure issues. Um, again, we don't know for sure yet what's going on or what went on here earlier today. I said earlier in the show, it does seem to raise some questions, though, about you know whether or not the, the country's ready if this was some sort of a cyber attack. And we don't know here, but what about the questions about whether somebody was coming after us? Are we ready? Yeah, sure. I appreciate Evan's reporting there that, that at this point, there's nothing that, that we've seen that would indicate that this is a cyber attack. And, mm -hmm. you know, I would have been one of those government officials looking at that question. And it's important that that gets investigated. It's important that, that the FBI and, and CISA and the Federal Communications Commission have access to what AT&T is learning about so, so that we can confirm with certainty that it was not a cyber attack. Um, outages like this, you know, the ability for a cyber attack to cause outages like this, if, a, if an adversary tries tries to do something like that, we, we still think that that's a plausible thing that could happen. And so having the uh, testing what would happen with outages and, and how resilient the system is to the system, to, phone service being down gives us a way to test how resilient we could be if, if there's a cyber attack that would have this level of consequences. Again, there's no reason at this point to think there is. Um, the, the good news is the service is back up and running, and there's probably have not been significant cascading impacts on other critical infrastructure from, from AT&T being down. That's always something that I used to worry about is, you know, one thing happens and that causes a cascading impacts, mm -hmm. causes systemic effect, and all of a sudden, you know, communities are in real bad shape. But in this case, it, it doesn't seem to have happened. Yeah. I was thinking about it earlier. It's just uh, we're so reliant on our cell phones. We have been for years, but now even you know older people don't have in many cases landlines anymore. Hardly anybody does. I mean, I'm, I'm, some people do, but I, I don't know very many people have a landline phone in their house, right? So, the USA Today headline I'll put up that the phone companies want to eliminate traditional landlines. What's at stake and who loses? And when I say I was thinking about it earlier today, I was wondering, you know, for emergency services, 911, and all that, is the system that we have now that is reliant on cellular networks strong enough? Is it as strong as it was in the old days when everybody had a landline? So, so on emergency services, the good news is we've invested since 9-11 in something that the Department of Commerce stood up, the first net services, which at t actually operates, which emergency services have access to. So they're not reliant on traditional, only traditional cell networks. And from first nets reporting today, their services were able to withstand outages. So, so there have been investments made in redundant 9-11, capabilities, E-911 capabilities. I don't think for emergency services going back to landlines is the answer. Right. I am a fan of consumer choice, so, so I hope the companies enable consumers who want to have access to landlines to continue to have access to landlines for their own preference and their own personal preparedness because they may not have access to emergency service backup capability. But I don't think as a nation we need to have, you know, uh, terrestrial uh, landline backups when we, we've made such an investment in E911 e e and 911, I mean, and in FirstNet. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.